Welcome back. Guess who's also back? Mike Eppel. Good morning. How are you? Hello. Good morning. How are you? Good. A week away. That feels uh, well, feels different. Well, yeah. Look, my my wife and I celebrated our 19th uh, wedding anniversary, so that Happy is an entire week long celebration. Thank you. Excellent. Also, Excellent. Also, also enjoyed that uh, that nice rainfall that we got on uh, on Friday. Rainfall, Not, uh, more like snowfall. Yeah, the, well, the cold the cold notwithstanding, we needed it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> we have a fa family farm, so we're kind of connected to that uh, the farming community, and they were desperate for rain, and uh, lawns are going to be cut this week, I'll tell you that. There you go. So good for something. Good for something, That's Mike. right. All right. That's right. Uh, Memorial Day weekend in the U.S., yeah. and, uh, you know, watching some of the visuals in the airports and people all over the map, it's <sighs> just two different worlds right now that we're in. It sure, it sure was. You know, you watched the Indy 500 yesterday. Uh, 130,000 people in the stands. Uh, the NHL games have uh, fans in the stands for the playoffs, Melanie. And uh, the U.S. is back to where it was when you're looking at travel. The uh, the roads were jammed this weekend. A lot of people were grousing about how busy they were. And then today, you know, uh, a lot of Americans will be traveling by plane. And it's going to be a very busy day at American airports. So you look stateside. Um, enviously, I suppose, to some extent, about how uh, much further along the economy is there. There was a stat I saw yesterday about uh, New York State, the, the COVID-19 positivity rate uh, is down to 0.7%. So right across the border, you know, our border communities are looking at any type of signal from Ottawa about how we uh, can maybe resume economic trade, uh, travel, that sort of thing, whether it's passports or what have you. But, uh, yeah, we're kind of looking there and going, you know, that's, that's, that's going to mm -hmm. be here eventually, but when? And our, our economy continues to struggle because of it, and specifically, you know, small business uh, saying just before we came on here, I'm so done with curbside pickup. I mean, it's like, please, you know, just <laughs> let me come back into the store to pick up some hardware, for goodness sakes. Not just so Make done. Mike Apple had a full rage session. It was great. Well, I, I was, yeah, I've calmed yeah. down in the past a little bit here. Just like, it's good. But it's okay. It, it shouldn't take that here? long for me to hit send for the order and then get the route anyway. <laughs> That's okay. We'll, we'll bring you back down here. We'll bring Not you back. Not just about me. We got to get businesses reopened just for, for their livelihoods, for goodness sakes. Oh, absolutely. But I want to get your take on this because you've been working from home yep. this entire time. Yep. How has your experience been like? Because you're following a survey, seeing what Canadians are saying. Yeah. What about you? Do you like it? Listen, it's it's it, yeah, I have. I've, I've really in, enjoyed it. I do not miss the commute whatsoever. We've got a good work from home setup, and I'm pretty fortunate that way. But uh, you know, the survey says uh, a good number of Canadians say, you know, once things get back to normal, they're fine working from home. This Leger survey. It was an online uh, survey. Eighty percent said, yeah, work from home is just fine, and. An, an interesting note to this was 35% in this survey said if their bosses do not allow them to continue to work from home, they will look for another job. Um, and, and, and it was actually more dramatic. It's actually more dramatic in some of the numbers I've seen out of the U.S., Melanie, where um, Gen Z and millennials, that cohort, 90% hmm. want to continue working from home. It's not about... Uh, working, it's a, it's not about living to work, it's about working to live, right. work-life balance, all these other things, no commuting, the ease of just doing your job, shutting things off, if you have the wherewithal to do that, and just going about um, just regular day-to-day -day stuff. And so, I mean, there, I think there's going to be a big change here in the mindset of employees and how managers have to uh, have to deal with that if in fact they want them to come back to the office that's it employers are going to have to rethink things absolutely yep. and it's it's big for office mm -hmm. space and all the you know the the rental statistics for for corporations and their costs and and all that which may be actually beneficial okay we shall see mike nice to have you back yep. Okay, thank you. There you go. Now he has a smile on his face. Talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> it is 618. Uh, if you're looking at your calendar, yes, it's June 1st tomorrow, but families are still waiting, waiting, waiting for an official announcement when it comes to the reopening of schools and in-person learning. So we're going to break things down with an update coming up next.